Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with a little mini Sephora haul. Um, this is just some stuff I picked up doing the VIB um, Rude sale. Um, I picked up stuff both weekends. It's not a lot, but um, these videos are usually some of my own personal favorite videos. I love watching haul videos or like makeup collection videos. I just love seeing like what people purchase, like what they buy, what they're interested in. And a lot of times I'll end up like maybe buying something from you know something I see in a haul video so I'm gonna start and some of them aren't in their packaging because um, I wasn't really planning on doing a haul I figured I'll just show so some of them are in their packages and some of them are out so I'm gonna start off with um, a couple of things from Fenty Beauty and I was not planning on buying anything from her latest launch I went in store I saw a couple of stuff I was like man I wasn't that impressed the sale rolled around that I was on the website and I saw this palette and I don't know I guess I changed my mind and I picked it up and it's the kilowatt the kilowatt foil highlighter palette um I know this has been everywhere it's really beautiful it's so Rihanna um although I'm not into like pastel shades for some reason the shade in the center really got my attention um Maybe I can use it like high on my cheekbones or maybe like in my tear duct. I think um, it's so pretty. But um, I don't plan on using this as highlighter. I know for a fact I'll use them as eyeshadows or something like that. Or, you know, maybe that one in the center that I just watched, I'll probably put on my cheekbones. Then I got the little pencil trio. I don't see the name on this. Um, but I think this is like, you can use this for several things like the eyes. I got the ones that have the, um, the mostly gold and orange colors. Um, I think they're very easy to use. I love the packaging. It's like a little cigarette box. Rihanna, she's so innovative with, you know, her packaging and stuff like that. She's like really ahead of her time. And these are very soft and creamy. I think they're very pretty. Um. I like this one a lot. I haven't used it on my eye yet. That's where I plan on using it. I'll probably put the powder highlighters um, on top. And I was not planning on buying this either. And I ended up picking it up. Um, I got something else from her line. I already own this, but um, I went through it. This is her eyeliner because I'm black. Um, I love this so much. I love how black it is. I love how easy it is to use because um, this reminds me so much of my Tom Ford. Um, it's a liquid liner that I used to love. I actually, that was actually gifted to me. I'd never purchased it. I think that's almost $50 if I'm not mistaken. So I can't, I can't afford to keep buying a $50 eyeliner pencil, although it was that good. I think this is a great dupe for that. Um, if you're not, if you're like new to makeup and new to like liquid liners, you're not comfortable. I think this makes it so easy. I think it's so easy to use. It's fantastic. I absolutely love this. So this is a repurchase from her. All right. So I got some, let me talk about some of the face products I got. And first I repurchased my Natasha Denona. This is, this is her Invisible HD Powder. It's in 02 Medium Dark. This is such a beautiful powder. I use this to set my under eye. I used it today because this is um, going to be my backup. I think it's such a beautiful powder. Like if you're looking for a nice under eye powder, I would highly, highly recommend this. This is what it looks like. I've used it several times on my channel before and this is just like my tried and true. This is just like a staple now in my everyday um, makeup, like when I put my makeup on. Next face product I purchased is the Laura Mercier The Loose Powder, but this one is in limited edition packaging. Look how pretty this packaging is. Um, this is not the glow powder, which I would have loved if they had put the glow powder in this because the glow powder is like my favorite, favorite, um, powder. I like it even better than 
the regular powder. But anyway, this is the regular translucent powder. Of course, I have it in medium deep for deeper skin tones. And it comes with a powder puff. I don't know if I'm going to use the powder puff because I love to use my beauty blender instead, but it's nice and sturdy. Very nice powder puff. Um, the original, the powder in the original packaging is like $38. I think I paid like $4 more and I think I probably paid $4 for this um, little powder puff. But I love this so much. When I saw this, I was like, wow, because I didn't realize that they had it in limited, limited edition packaging. And... I already own this in the regular packaging, but it's like kind of like more than halfway done. So this is going to be um, my backup. It's so pretty. I love, love this container. And I was so like excited because when I saw like the top was shiny, I thought it was the, um, the glow powder, but it's not. But I still absolutely love this. And then I purchased two foundations. Like I need any more foundation. But ever since, you know, I did my Charlotte Tilbury video and stuff like that. And because after I did that video, I started like using her products more. Because, you know, sometimes you have stuff that just lays around and then you lie around and then you use it. And then it's like, like, why haven't I been using this product? So I decided I don't have her foundation. So let me get her foundation. So I got the Her Magic um, foundation. I got it in the shade 11. Um... Of course, this is just a makeup haul. It's not a review. But, like, when I swatched it on my hand, um, I don't know. I was just really surprised at the texture and the feel of this foundation. It just it feels, like, really heavy and kind of thick. I was not expecting that. But I, when, now that I'm seeing the packaging in person, it looks kind of cheap. It's, like, plasticky. And this is just, like, constantly running over. I'm not sure what's going on. It's very messy but I am going look at it it's all over my hand I'm gonna give it a try maybe I'll do a video where I try out some stuff and I'm gonna use it but because everything it may look and feel different once it's on my face but I didn't like the consistency once I swatched it and it also looked kind of like so light I thought she, I thought it was good with shade shade 11 but who knows anyway and the second foundation I bought is this um the YSL Touche Claw foundation um this is supposed to be like a light coverage I think it's a little bit more buildable than a tinted moisturizer I have it in the shade B80 I've been eyeing this foundation for a while because since my skin has cleared up but it's not completely there but it, it has cleared up so nicely um, I feel more comfortable wearing like a lighter foundation. I'm not worried about like all the black stuff around my mouth and stuff like that because that's all gone. And so I decided to pick this up. Like I said, I really, really wanted to try this. The shade range is, shade range is terrible. But um, like I said, I got this in B80 and I may do a video where I try it out. But I'm, I'm excited to, I'm a little bit more excited about this than I am about the Charlotte Tilbury. Then the next face product I got is this Becca concealer and I have it in the shade Syrup. I have been wanting this for a while. Um, I love pop concealers. Um, I love my NARS concealer and I've been eyeing this for a while and I wanted to you know try like some pop concealers since it's so cold in this winter and this is what it looks like. This is the shade Syrup. This looks like it's about at least two shades or so lighter than me, which is perfect. Um, I don't want to swatch it now. I'm probably going to put it on when I do some reviews of some of the stuff I got. Hmm. It smells like paint. Anyway, I got this and I'm really looking forward to um, using it. Then I got um couple eye stuff i got this little palette from hue to beauty and this is warm brown now i don't know I don't, I don't think this is because i know she launched some more of these little palettes it's really tiny like when you see it in person like look at that anyway i saw this and i thought it, this would be so cute especially like if you're traveling moving around because it's so little the colors are right up my alley 
their warm colors, like warm browns and oranges and golds. I think this was from when she had launched these small palettes before, because I know the new set of palettes she has now, it is like a green one and stuff. I don't know if this is from that, but I saw and I figured, hey, I'll pick it up because I was looking at it for a while. I figured I'd grab it. I think it's so neat, so convenient. And, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to slam that that hard. And I'm looking forward to trying this out. I also got the Magnificent Metals from Stila. I already owned one. This one is in the shade, what did I get? Me and my eyes. I got, um, I should always keep my glasses nearby. This is Comics Copper. I owned one. I don't remember the name of it, but I know it's not Comics, Comics Copper. And it comes with like a little mix-in medium in this little bottle. They also give you a little plate to mix it on. And this is like a foil eyeshadow. It's really, really pretty. I think it'll be great for holidays and like New Year's Eve. If you want like that pop on your lid, I'm looking forward to uh, using this as well. Let's stuff that back in here. Okay, and then I picked up a pair of lashes from Hue to Beauty. All my favorite lashes from her are the Sasha lashes, lashes which I'm wearing today. I absolutely love these lashes but I figured I'll try another style. I was tempted to pick up two but I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. This is what um, they look like and these are Farah and these are the number 12 lashes. Um, I really hope I like them as much as I like um, the Sasha lashes and these are a little bit pricey compared to my um, lashes that I get from Lady Moss which is about $7. This I think this is close to $20, if not $20. So this is why I didn't want to pick up a whole bunch, and then I don't like it, but I do love Sasha. It is my favorite lash from her. Then I got um, a couple lip products. I got these two um, lipsticks here from Lancome, and these are the Absolute Rouge Lipsticks. I already owned one of these lipsticks and I love the formula. I'm wearing one today. Which one am I wearing today? I'm wearing 284 today. These are so scrumptious, these lipsticks. And it's a, I'm wearing it today, like I said, it's a beautiful brown with like a little bit of sheen. Let me wipe this off so that you guys can see this swatched. And it goes on like a dream. It's so, so creamy. I think it makes your lip look so pouty. I love these lipsticks because um, I love wearing gloss over top my lipsticks. And with this, I feel it's like I get them both in one because it has enough coverage to where it covers my lips. But it's so creamy and I feel like, I feel like it adds like a really nice glossy look to my lips so I absolutely love them and this is 112 this is a little lighter they're kind of similar but not similar <laughs> and this is what this one looks like they just look so pretty on they're so comfortable I love these lipsticks I plan on picking up some more then lastly just like I said you know it's I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff um, I picked up this lip gloss from Pat McGrath that I've been eyeing forever. I think it's so stunning. It's called, because I know I'm not going to see it here. Well, maybe I can. It's Gold Blitz or Blitz Gold. I'm going to have it listed in the description box. But this is so, I was looking at this for a while. And so I, I was so happy that it was available in the sale because a lot of her stuff uh, was sold out during the sale. This is what it looks like. And I think this will just make a great topper. It's so gold. It's so wet. I think it's just a sexy, sexy lip gloss. And I also picked up another lip gloss. And this one is from Lancome. I can't see the name of the bottle. I'm going to list it in the description box. And 
I just love the packaging. It's so sleek and so it looks so expensive and it's just so pretty. But the gloss of itself and it smells so good. This is what the gloss looks like. I think that is so pretty. It's like a nice peachy pinky nude gloss with a little bit of just like gold in there. Oh, I cannot wait to put this on my lips. I think it's so pretty. Oh, and one last thing that I'm forgetting. I bought my Shiseido makeup remover pads and I am never without these. Um, if you don't own these, you should try it out. I think it's very reasonably priced. I mean, you can pick it up at the Shiseido counter in your mall or at Sephora. And you know when you go into Sephora, there's nothing in Sephora that's really like 10 bucks or less than 15 bucks. This is, I think this is like 10 something. How many pads do you get? You get, uh... It doesn't say it on here, but you get quite a bit. And um, I like to take my micellar water and um, use it to um, remove my makeup. I don't see the number on here of how many um, facial cotton pads you get. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description box. And oh, I forgot one last thing. I keep saying one last thing because it's sitting right in front of me. I got this makeup remover. Um, this is the makeup melter from uh, Ciate London. And I absolutely love this, but I don't use this to take off the makeup from my entire face because like I said, I love my micellar water. What I love to use this for, this is what it looks like. It's fantastic. This is like my third tub. What I love, or a jar, what I love about this is I use it to take makeup off of my eye. Now, I every time I put makeup on, I use a lot of mascara. I use lashes, so I have glue. And I just like to dip my finger in there, and it comes out sort of like a Vaseline, but not as greasy. And I'll just rub it over my eye, and I go in with one of those wipes, and I swipe. And one swipe, you get almost everything off. This is so good, and it's very reasonably price you get quite a bit I think it's about $20 or about eight between 18 and $20 it's so good if you're looking for a good eye makeup remover and if you want to use it on your face I think this is so fantastic anyway guys that's the end of this haul I hope you guys in um, enjoyed it I'm definitely going to try to do a video trying out some of these products and as usual thank you guys so much for taking you know the time out of your day to watch my videos i appreciate all of you so much and like i always say to all my new subscribers anybody who looked at my video and decided to hit that subscribe button i appreciate you so much and i'm going to see you again in my next video bye guys